Hi everyone, today I'm going to show how to connect to the SharePoint Online using PowerShell. First, we need to install the SharePoint Online Management Shell, either by downloading and running SharePoint Online Management Shell, or installing the module from PowerShell Gallery. If you want to download SharePoint Online Management Shell from Microsoft, you can go to this website here, which I'm going to include in the description, and you can download the Online Management Shell from uh, Microsoft or you can go to PowerShell gallery and download the and download it from there. And it's, if you notice here, the version here is the same as what Microsoft has here. So it's totally up to you. For this video, I'm going to install the module from PowerShell gallery. So first I need to run PowerShell as an admin. One thing you have to uh, check, but uh, for the most part, it's, you should be fine. Make sure you're running PowerShell 5 or newer. And if you're on Windows 10, most probably you're running, uh, your version is either five or higher, but if you want to check the PowerShell version, you can run this command. And as you can see, here's the version. So we're good. Now I need to install the module and here's the command. So the command's already here. I can just copy it from here, from the site and paste it here. I'm installing this module for the first time and the installation process may take a few minutes. So the module is installed. Now I can connect to the SharePoint online. I can connect it in two ways. I can use user username and, or password, or if you have multi-factor authentication enabled in your tenant, you can use or connect that way. MFA is enabled in my tenant, so I'm gonna use that way or that method. And here's the command. So here, that's the name of uh, my company or the account that I'd register with Microsoft in Office 365. So whatever the company name or the account that you have registered with Microsoft, you got to put that here and dash admin. Now I'm going to press enter. I, should, I need to log in now. So to test if I'm connected to the SharePoint online management shell, I can run this command by running get spo site and I should be able to see every single site that is created in my tenant and, and, and as you can see here's all my site all my SharePoint site in my tenant as I mentioned in the beginning of this video if you don't have MFA in your tenant you can use user username and password I'm going to include the command in the description of this video but that's all for today. This was a quick video just show you how you can connect to the SharePoint online using PowerShell. On my next video, I'm going to go over a few more commands that you can manage SharePoint on online using PowerShell. Let me know if you have any questions. See you all next time.